could. Right. You know, my, I still remember my principal saying that you probably should go to Air Force Academy because you're guaranteed a job after you graduate. <laughs> <laughs> I chose not to take his advice, yeah. you know, but once I made that shot, it made me feel like, hey, I made the right choice for Michael Jordan, and, right. and this thing is going to turn out to be a positive situation, and I just gained confidence from that point forward. Mm -hmm. Now, you've made a lot of incredible shots. Did you ever feel lucky? Did All you right. ever, like, hit one and just go, whoo hoo, -hoo. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I still feel that way. Sometimes when I do things and I really don't know exactly what I've done mm -hmm. until I see it back on replay. Right. And I, yeah, I wow myself sometimes. I mean, but I go in with the notion of scoring the basket, and sometimes it, the defense can alter that. Mm -hmm. But a lot of times the instincts take over. You know, right. the, you know, the creativeness that I have in my game sometimes take over, and I don't really know what happened until I see it again. Right, right, right. Uh, you have any friends in the league that you uh, hang out with? Sure, I mean, Charles is probably one of my best friends. Barbara, yeah. Charles. But I get along with, with some of my adversaries, I get along with, with no problem. I mean, Patrick Ewing, we probably compete against each other all the time. Mm -hmm. And people may think that we hate each other, but we're real good friends. Right. Uh, along with, uh, I... Dennis. <laughs> Magic, no, Magic don't play anymore, but we're, we're still good friends. Right. Magic and I, Larry Bird, mm -hmm. Isaiah Thomas, we competed against each other for a long period of time. But it's a certain respect there, a certain uh, a friendship that we carry. Right. Uh, and those are the type of things that, that happen once you play the game for a long period of time and compete against right. people for so long. Now, we, uh, uh, when you hang out with guys that you compete with on a daily oh, basis, don't start that. No, I'm, I'm just curious, oh. does the competition, even off the court, does it always, I mean, you guys are competitive, that's, what, that's your lives, that's what y'all oh, do. Oh, sure. I mean, when I'm hanging out with Charles, I mean, I can say whatever I want to to Charles. They never won. He's second place <laughs> I mean, but he knows. There's a certain report that, that it's not demeaning to Charles. Right. I, I'm motivating Charles to get on my level. In right, terms but of he, he can only talk trash up to oh. a certain point. Right. You know, Charles is, is a great. He's, he's a great speaker. He's a witty guy. And mm. but every time he, when he gets out of his arena talking right. about winning, mm. I have to bring him back to reality. <laughs> to reality. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more from Mark the Joy right after this. Show. They've got to look to get it in there. You can't with a shot blocker like Ewing. Takes so much time. Gordy the block. The time, 18. Shot, Jordan. Michael Jordan, 14 seconds. We're back. Talking to Michael Jordan. You know, obviously, obviously you know that you're admired by he, I'm sure he loves you too, lady. <laughs> well, that, that, that gets to my, to my next question. You know you have millions of, of guys who uh, admire you. And the ladies, of course, adore you. Now, we know, we all know you're married and a family man, but just to give the ladies a little insight into Michael Jordan, are you the romantic type? Oh, very much so. Well, well, what is a, uh, what's a romantic evening for Michael Jordan. For me? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, for the things I have to deal with, a, a quiet dinner or mm -hmm. going to a movie, which is, these are things that I've just as recently extended myself to do because of the invasion to some degree of right. my private time with my family and my wife and my mm -hmm. kids. So to us, to be able to go out to dinner and then go check out a movie is like perfect, you right. know, without worrying about people intervening that time mm -hmm. that I have with them. So, I mean, to, to some degree, it's simple, but yet it seemed to be... You know, right, well, of course, yeah. I'm, I'm sure you're trying to <laughs> be romantic. And people go, Excuse me, baby. Michael, could you sign my napkin? <laughs> <laughs> hey, that happens. I'm I know. Not I know. I know. But she's a bulldog, and I said she won't let that happen too often, though. No, that's good. That's good. Well, see, you need, you need a strong Excuse lady. Me. That's right. Excuse yeah. Me. You know, she loves to do that. Please. <laughs> Now, you're, 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 you got uh, three kids? Three kids. Uh -huh. uh, my kids are eight, six, and four. And eight, two six, boys and a little girl. Any, uh, any future stars in the family? No, my kids are very athletic. I mean, I let them play. I don't really do any coaching or directing mm -hmm. because I think they should enjoy the game right now. For me to get, get in there and give too much direction, I don't want to confuse them. I don't want them to lose the attitude of enjoying the game. Right. 
Right. You know, so a lot of times you find professional athletes who are on their kids constantly trying mm -hmm. to make them into superstars. Well, right. my kids are either going to develop to be a superstar. I'm not going to force them. If they choose not to, mm -hmm. fine. You know, right. I have a problem with that. Right. Now, do your, do your kids ever teach you anything? Sure. I mean, they, they teach me patience. There you go. You know, relax. <laughs> you know, because my kids always want to go. They're yeah. hyper. Right. You know, and when I'm coming home from a day of activity, you know, it's, I have to be patient. I have to spend time with them. I can't just let my hair down. <laughs> <laughs> I got to learn how to give them the time that they need to, to relax or enjoy, right. or enjoy my company. Right. So they teach me a lot of patience in, in, in very uh, respectful situations. Okay, well, I know you are, are working on a new project right now. You got your uh, cologne and uh, some other goodies here. <laughs> Now, the clone, the clone is doing exceptionally well. Oh, the clone is doing very well. I think the, uh, the pur purpose of the clone is to bring more awareness to men mm -hmm. who, I think, carries themselves in, in, in a fashion that they're, they're worried about. Oh, they pay attention to the hygiene. They, they pay attention to smelling good and looking good and feeling right. good. and That's right. That, too. <laughs> you know, and if you look at some of the professional athletes, they have real good dressers. They, they, they take care of their hygiene very efficiently mm -hmm. and they take pride in their, you know, their presence right. because a lot of times when you see people if you don't get to know them the first impression is the way they're dressed or the way that they smell no the way they the smell will smell. make an impression <laughs> 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 well right. let, let, let's check out some of the stuff that you bought here what do, what do we got well yes yeah, you know well, we you got had... a whole kit well that's that's new that's the expansion uh, of the lane oh this is it, it comes it, does it come like this or? well not quite for okay. you yes <laughs> oh okay this is the KW kit right here. But this is the cologne that was uh, launched last year. And the uh -huh. kit, and the women don't, I mean, you guys can understand this. Men, you got to pick up the pace a little bit. But <laughs> this is like an after shower body oil. Uh -huh. When you get out of the shower and you try to lock in some of the moisture into your skin. I mean, so this is, this is the body oil. This, this keeps you from being ashy. Yeah. yeah. That, that's what there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it from being ashy. We got, we got the deodorant, which I think I've, I've been using this now for a year and a half. It's uh, alcohol free, so you don't have to worry about the burning. Smells you know. good. Smells good. Smells good. This is my favorite product. <laughs> hey, so you guys know about this. This is the uh, soap. And the one thing in the shower with men, you don't want to drop the soap. <laughs> So being that I have huge hands, I wanted the soap to be real big. Mm -hmm. So you don't have a problem. If you drop this, you have a purpose for dropping it. <laughs> Ain't no accident. Ain't no, no accident. So the shower gel. The shower gel is just an extension of the soap. If you, uh -huh. you, know, you certainly don't want to use This is great. Uh -huh. We're using the shower gel. And the women know about it. And it's just another. Yeah, well, you guys. See now, what's going to have to happen is that we're going to have to get counter space comparable to their size now. Oh, See, before okay. all we had was a piece of soap. Now we got to have our counter, right. too. So now, what about for your, for your head? What do you, uh... Um... Hey, man. When you get out of the shower, all you got to do is... <laughs> <laughs> hey! Oh, no. Get ready. I'm ready. Get ready. Let me see. It's not good. Look at the sign, I'm telling you. This, this is the ball man's activator right here, right? <laughs> oh, this is all good. What else is there for Michael Jordan to accomplish? What haven't you done that, uh, personally, you want to achieve? You've broken the records. you won the championships. You, you are the greatest athlete. <laughs> I mean, those are, those are great compliments. I think, you know, the reason I still play the game is because I still want to win. You know, mm -hmm. so I'm looking forward to winning my sixth championship. Yeah. And, uh, and hope, hopefully we can stay intact. I want to play as long as we continue to win. I want to continue to play. Mm -hmm. But I think what's, what's in store for Michael Jordan in a long-term situation, um, I enjoy doing my entrepreneurial stuff. You know, right. it gives me a certain opportunity to get involved with corporate America and do certain things and have a say-so in, in my creativity and things that... You know, it's a part of my personality. I look forward to continuing to do that. But 
my first and foremost down the road is being a parent, watching my kids grow up. Yeah. And one day, <laughs> this, is, this is gonna sound wild, but my ultimate dream is to get a pop belly. <laughs> <laughs> I just want I know you're doing it. I know it sounds bad with me, but I've always had to stay focused and stay in shape and right. never really have gotten out of shape. I just want to get a pot belly, <laughs> sit around, relax, and don't focus on what I have to do the next day. Yeah. You know? So whenever I get to that point where I don't think about what I got to do the next time, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm relaxed and I got the pot belly in <laughs> Probably smoking a cigar or whatever. Right. Well, we appreciate you coming by. Best to you and right, everything that you. you do. Thanks for having me. Michael Jordan, Check out the Body Collection. We'll be back.